Yo, I hope you're having a fabulous time on this Fab Tuesday. We are back to the status quo, it would seem. We've got two environments and one character asset. We've got the construction props, which does what it says on the tin. It's a bunch of construction props. They look cool. We'll take a look at those. It's always nice to get a wide variety of things. So we'll take a deeper dive at that. This one came out in January 9th of this year and doesn't have any of the AI flags. I've now got to check the AI flags on these since last week. So that's good fun. No ratings on this one. Two in one environmental bundle asset. This is a sort of high fantasy uh, environment asset that's nano enabled. This is about 12 gigs to download. My computer is currently screaming at me as it downloads it. So we'll take a look at this. This seems like it could be interesting. No reviews on this one. This one came out November 14th last year. So it's a little bit older and also doesn't have the AI flags. Robot free. This is a robot. No ratings, but it is a robot enabled in Unity and it gives you the Maya file as well. Comes modular parts, different colors. Rig to the UE5 skeleton so you can use it in the gas sample, and yeah, we'll take a look at that as well. It's even got a control rig. This one, as I say, Unreal, Unity, Maya, and an FPX file. This one came out July 14th, 2025, and again, not generated with AI. We're going to start with the construction props, and for anyone that downloads this, it's actually the city kit BR underscore version 4. So I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here and Fab needs to get their stuff together because this breaks their own rules. Whoever approved this, it shouldn't be called City Kit PR V4. It should be called Construction Props according to their rules. This is the Fab page that says what your rules are for what you publish. Your subdirectory must be named after your product, the pack file, and it should contain all of the directories and assets. So I don't know why they've allowed this through in the, the name state, but that's me going off on a tangent. Anyway, back to the actual asset rather than my personal fab vendor. There's a lot of props here. There isn't actually a full showcase map, but there are a lot of props here, which I appreciate. There's some blueprints here. So these are all uh, grouped assets. So we can browse to the actual blueprints. Not sure what I'd use it for. I don't really have much of a use for construction props, but if someone did, then I can see this being quite nicely set up for them. You see this in some sort of Spider-Man, like Arkham type game, strongholds and stuff. What do you think of this one? Do you like it? Is it a good to get one? Are you happy with it? Etc. As I say, there's some packed uh, level actors here with their blueprints that you can just drag out into the world and place. Scale wise is pretty good. And we can walk up and around these assets as well. So not sure about the textures on some of these floors though. So yeah, let me know what you think of that one. Robot 3 looks like money version, like, 3 or 4 upgraded. Like, money went through AI's uh, revolution. Came out the other end and was like, destroy all humans. They even gave him a gun. This gun is cool. I like this gun. Got one, a rusty money version 5. It's cool. In theory, it should be super easy to swap our characters to be able to be used. Because it's already rigged, it should be a simple swap money for money V5 robot free. And then if we play from here, we should see our robot walking around. This is the combat template that we've just hijacked for a little bit. Yeah, it's always good to get a nice, easy swap. Now, 
that will check out Nanite Environment Bundle. This is called Nanite Environment Bundle 1. And then we'll go to levels. We'll check out the stunning level. Let's go take a walk through this stunning level. And to be fair, it is pretty impressive. From a level designer point of view that I am not. So this is. Yeah, well, this is pretty good. <laughs> like, like this is very. If I turn off G, I can get rid of all the grid lines and then we can like do a little walk through. They've just come out of your starting level, plays the thing, camera zooms up, bam. Yeah, that is really nice. And not made with very much stuff, it looks like, either. Right, let's take a look at the showcase for the volcano. This could be interesting. We'll have a look at the full level in a minute. The full levels obviously are a lot uh, more stunning than these, although that level of detail is really nice. Some volcanic boulders here. The interesting thing about uh, these is all of this like certain ash stuff is geometry caches i thought that was interesting there's a couple of niagara effects in here the smoke niagara effect and stuff but obviously the one that we're interested in is the mountain very lord of the rings mount doom esque Just imagine Sam and Frodo climbing up. Where are the eagles, man? Yeah, man. So that's those assets. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think the environments, I was a bit surprised about how good those last two environments were, honestly. So, yeah, give me your thoughts. I'm excited to hear them.